Hello, welcome to Rick's RC Flying Channel. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Today, what we're going to do is take a look at one of the Piper Cubs that was recently built here in the shop. The Grizzly Cub is a super cub. It's quarter scale scratch built using the plans from a Zig kit. It's covered with coverall and a dope finish, which is Buritate paint. It features pinking tape, rib stitching, fabric inspection panels, and also has a cargo pod installed under the fuselage. The airplane also features slotted flaps, which are aluminum covered, and the hinges are 3D printed to accommodate the uh, slotted flaps. The airflow over the top of the flaps improves the aerodynamics. The interior of the cabin features several details and shows no signs of radio installation. The cockpit seat is framed and covered with leather. The shoulder harness and seat belts are made with 3D parts. And behind the pilot seat is his flight bag and a duffel bag. The pilot is basically scratch built as well, 3D printed parts. We sold up his clothes and body. Now you'll notice here in the cockpit there's a map light and that map light when it eliminates tells the RC pilot that his ignition system is armed. Just kind of a neat feature. And this is what the pilot looks at. It's a full complete instrument panel and the longer lever with the red knob is actually the choke for the engine. Now the cargo pod under the aircraft is used to house several electronic components, a solenoid, starter battery, receiver battery, and electrical lighting circuits and batteries. The engine is a DL35 and it features a starter. The forward part of the cargo pod has the landing light system and of course the rest of the aircraft has full lighting. In the aft part of the cabin there's a baggage compartment. The upper panel and the forward side panel are sitting in channel tracks. They're held by magnets and when the two panels are removed it gives you access to your servos and to your receiver. The cabin also has a headliner which is used to hide all the wires going to the wing. I also use color-coded lights, red for the ignition, green for the receiver system, to enhance situational awareness. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out the other bills. And if you like this video, please hit like and or subscribe. I always welcome comments. Thank you, and we'll see you soon.